and uh, Chinnapparendi Garu, former MPS to comments, and uh, Bobji. Is Bobji here, sir? Yeah. Bobji Narsimara, who is a former Indian cricketer and uh, successful captain of the Ranji Trophy team, he is uh, settled in Ireland. Uh, who is, uh, today we are going to felicitate him of some time. And uh, uh, Victor Amalraj, former Indian captain, is here, football captain. Um, Akhtar Ali Saab, professor in uh, Osmania, and uh, Rangarao Garo, one of the uh, top uh, athletic coach here. Is, uh, two days before, he got a Sikhan Adu Award uh, for one of the operations. And Mr. Govind Raj is here, former Indian fast bowler. And Shagur uh, uh, Garo, managing director of uh, uh, Self Health Cloud, is here as a fitness fanatic, uh, former HPS uh, player. Um, my name is Chandana, she's a physio and uh, done in Australia, she's also going to speak. And uh, Prabhakar Rogar, one building uh, builder is here, and other distinguished guests, Mohan and all. And then now we request, we are starting, today every year, uh, the seminar is conducted the Sports Coaching Foundation, along with, the, it's an NGO, everybody, I think most of the people knows here, and including uh, media, and uh, uh, we talk about the foundation later, because the distinguished guests are here, a lot of people, they will talk first. And uh, this is a seminar on health and fitness with the sports. Uh, everybody knows that um, India is a capital of diabetes, and, and we have to uh, do so much. All the uh, doctors, sportsmen, through sports only they can uh, any country become a you know, healthy country. That's what the intellectuals are here. They'll speak. Architect about. of this evening function, Sir Sai Baba, former great player who made us all of us to be here. Former players who represented the country and the great lovers of sport this evening. Good evening to all of you. I, as professor of the university and the president for the Indian Association of Physical Education and Sports Sciences today, and the former advisor to government of Andhra Pradesh, stand before you in welcoming on behalf of the foundation which is being run by a voluntary organization. It's a great pleasure for me and a great honor to be with you all who are the representatives of the sport in this country. To speak to you about the present uh, scenario, as Sababa said, the policy of the sports and physical education is prevent the disease instead of curing the disease. Just now we were discussing the great players were telling why are the grounds in, in Andhra Pradesh or India when compared with the golden days which we had played. That's what the Govind Raju was telling. It is not the grounds which are there, which is not the play that is required. The present topic today is how to maintain the health. Health according to the great father of the nation, Gandhiji, is body at ease. Body at ease, which is the wording which has been taken, disease free. The disease free doesn't mean it applies only for the body, it also applies to the mind. Both for the body and mind. So how to be healthy by yourself? with all the habits of which you have, the healthy habits, which is followed by fitness. What is this fitness? Fitness is not only a physical. Most of us will feel that physical fitness is physical. Fitness is physical, psychological, social, mental, and emotional. All these things combined together, if you are keeping up very well with all these things, then only you are called, you are physically, you are fit by fitness work. In our set, physical fitness. In the participation of all these events, particularly in the sport, the meaning of the sport is, is it taken, being taken by Greek word, carry away. Whatever the role that is given to you, you have to carry yourself that role. To put. You should not say, I am not given this job because I am supposed to be a captain of the team, but I am asked to play as a player. This is not correct. Whatever role that is given to you, if you are doing yourself justice, you are called a sportsman. That's why we call many people who are the lover of sport, he is a very, very sports lover. He need not be a player, he need not represent the country, but if he is loving the sport, if he is encouraging the sport, that is what is essential of the day. And how do you get this exercise? It is participation of sports which is involves your muscles, your joints, your bones, and your cardiovascular system which is possible through sport. Every sport is consisting of exercises. And these exercises are consisting of all the following things which I have mentioned. That's why the sport is the way of keeping yourself perfectly well, involving all the muscular systems. 
How do you get this particularly for the age that it goes? Some of us, some of us said, middle-aged people you see everywhere, you will be seeing the middle-aged people walking on the roads, both men and women. The reason for this is the sugar level has gone up. When they go to doctor, doctor will advise them, sweat out, go for a walk, and go for a jog, go for a swim, go for a walk, cycling. This is what the doctor advised because when you are in a sedentary group, you are normally intake will be increasing and there is no outlet for these things. That is the reason to, to exploit all these things, you have to go for the exercise. If you start the exercise doing when you are childhood, particularly when the youth are there, particularly from childhood is there, primary section, secondary section, and intermediate section and higher education. If you start involving in all these things, you will be, there is no need for us to go for many hospitals, corporate hospitals at all. This is my view, this is my experience, I am 73 touching. Up to now, I have not taken any medicine for the health point of view, except I do. I advise for all the people, particularly for the seniors, see what is that your child is doing in the evening. Don't allow him to be in, the, be in front of TV between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Allow him to play whatever game he likes, whatever game he likes. Let him, let him go out. If he is not playing any game, let him take the cycle and go on cycling. But not inside, it is outside. This should be given an opportunity for all the people to be exposed by the parents and grandparents. If you are not doing, who else can do? This is one way. And for yourself, keep 20 to 30 minutes involving yourself in the physical activity every day. It may be cycling, it may be swimming, it may be um, um, walking. Jog for joy, run for fun and walk for exercise. This is what, as a senior citizen, I say, walk may not be good for the youngsters. You have to jog, but jog for fun. You can enjoy yourself. If you are not keeping up healthy, your family will not be healthy. I told you, it is a comparison. Suppose you get a fever. For fever is for body. You will not be able to talk to your friends. It is mental. And then your social behavior will be definitely changing. Your mind also needs a rest. You are feeling so much of tiresome. So the fever will make you not only physically unfit, mentally unfit, socially unfit, not to move from your house. This is the reason the health and the sports will go together as long as you do your exercise continuously and rhythmically. Mm -hmm. Let us all join hands today with the prolongation of being given by Sai. Yes. That is, keep yourself fit, keep yourself fit, make the society fit, make your family fit, make your state fit and make the country fit progressively, particularly healthy. Let us have a healthy nation. Look forward for all of you. Thank you very much for the opportunity given to me. Good luck and good day. Okay, I request uh, Ramutali Sahib to speak on this occasion. It is a football uh, association uh, president uh, for uh, AP and Telangana. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pian Rao and uh, distinguished gathering here. I was not expecting that I would be called upon to speak. And uh, after a wonderful speech by Mr. Chinnapareti, I think uh, hardly anything left for me to speak. But anyway, having been called upon, uh, I would share a few thoughts with you. For physical health, of course, Mr. Chinnapareti has beautifully highlighted. But as a sports person from a very young age, what I have learned is it will teach you good social habits in the sense you relate very well to other people in the society. It also inculcates the team building spirit, how to go along with the team, how to take the people along with you. That is, you become leader in the process. And apart from that, your managerial abilities also improve. And uh, as Mr. Chinnaparati has said, rightly so, these are the days of stress. In whatever evocation you are involved, stress is unavoidable and stress leads to diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular problems, heart failure and it's a long list. 
the only stress reliever in today's world is sports, game, physical activity. A mere jogging, running, of course, if you are walking alone, I don't think uh, you will feel happy. If you are running alone, it may not inspire you much. But if you are doing something physical with a team, definitely it will relieve the stress very quickly and it also introduces joy and fun for all the participants. It also infuses a competitive spirit, a spirit to compete, a spirit to fight, a spirit to defeat. And that is the essence of life. You must be a fighter, you must be a person who struggles, who fights, achieves certain objectives. That is the essence of life. If you have kept yourself fit and nothing else, fine, you are healthy. But the joy of being in the society and being recognized as somebody who does something for the good of all comes through only sports. So I think uh, with these few words, I must leave some room for others also to add. <laughs> So I take your leave, I thank Sai Baba for having uh, called me here and nice uh, to have this evening to have shared with you, thanks a lot. Ireland and is uh, also playing there and uh, now is a uh, chief coach and recently got a lot of awards from Queen Elizabeth also one of the best uh, coaches and he is uh, also a social work he's doing and he got uh, awards in that for ethnic group in uh, Ireland. Please Bob. Uh, Sarah Chandra wishes and today we are felicitating you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, whenever I come here, I'm, I, have to, I have to oblige uh, Sai Baba. Sai Baba has been a childhood friend and he has done uh, a great deal for not only cricket, even the other sport, and for the deprived children as well. And he's doing a, a great job uh, as a volunteer. So we need to give him a big applause because. Uh, without people like uh, like uh, Sai Baba, the sport, what you are talking about, thing is, sport is very important for the nation because uh, if you are if you want to be a, if you are a healthy nation, it's a happy nation. So that is what is very important. Sport is a vital thing. I'm lucky. Uh, we we play cricket and we play for India and Hyderabad for so long and, and, and it is it is really uh, once you achieve the star, that status uh, you know how much respect and other things you get wherever you go in the world so sportsmen are all, anywhere any part of the world you go if you're international sportsman in any field the respect and other things are totally different so the main thing I feel is uh, fitness and the awareness should start at the grassroots level in the schools. Now it's, I've seen uh, most of the schools don't have playing fields, just uh, mm, three or four stories. Uh, so it was very important uh, that a child needs sport at least five hours a week in school and after that you, you know, whatever sports he chooses. In, in England, uh, I've been uh, living in Ireland for the past 25 years and I, I worked with the uh, ECB, uh, England Cricket and County Board as a uh, staff coach. Uh, the main, main thing is in all the sports, like score long term athletic, uh, athletic development is very important. Because, because uh, they, they, they do pick uh, young people from the age of 6 to 9 and they really look at their fitness for the three years and then they channel them into the sport which they are fit in. That is, that is very, very important. Uh, you, you have rugby, cricket, uh, you have football, and in Ireland there's Gillick. It's a very, very uh, physical sport as well, like rugby. But I feel that we as Indians, we don't put that much of emphasis on fitness. Uh, even I, uh, I'm a head coach for one of the uh, 
with the teams called Northwest Warriors. Uh, we have a, we have a real structure uh, that we we, we have uh, like like your main committee, then you have a director, then you have a manager stroke uh, coordinator, your strength and conditioning coach, you have a batting, bowling, and fielding coach, then you have a nutrition coach, lifestyle coach. You have sports psychologists, you have a video analyst, and a physiotherapist. So this is the team that worked together from whole winter. When we finished the season, they're all on board. We finish in September, we start in October, and then in April, we start playing. Then you can see the results. So this is what I was just asked here uh, by the TV channel regarding Koja, about his action and other things. But it's very really important, that's what I advise the Hyderabad Cricket Association, that they would really contact a sports psychologist and let him have a few sessions, because there's nothing wrong with his action. He's mentally right, because of the rumors. It's very important they get hold of him before the Ranji Trophy starts. He can't become an overnight, he can't become a bad, uh, bad bowler. He has got 10 wickets in the last test match, and not only that, he, he got 100 wickets. So these are these are very important thing. We don't pay much of attention in this part of the world. I know that because I've been with that. So we have to, as as most of the uh, people here spoke uh, tonight about the fitness, how uh, it is linked to health, it is linked to your lifestyle. You know everything. It's very important. So we should start at the grassroots level. That that is. That is very important because uh, Saiba was saying, I, I work in, I, uh, in Northern Ireland, uh, I work for Stavan, I think Community Association as a development officer. That's my uh, full-time job apart from cricket. Cricket is my part-time job. So I started it uh, 10 years back and uh, we had six members. Now we have about uh, 300 members, 25 nationalities. And you won't believe, uh, now Diwali is the biggest festival. And Diwali is started in the schools. We go to six primary schools and we give them six workshops about Diwali. And this six primary schools, 170 kids perform on the stage about Rama and Diwali. And we give them uh, 140 Indian governments to wear, so they are delighted. And now it's the biggest festival. So that 170 students move on and we get another 170. So you see the diversity in that area. And we are the lowest uh, hate crime and hate thing in the whole of Ireland, which is nearly 0.4% uh, or something. In Belfast and other places, very, very high. So the grass, definitely the grassroots levels are the main thing. Because children, once the children take it on, because you can uh, convert, uh, convert it because once people are 25, 30, they have their own ways. But so, like even I went, when I went in 74, uh, 73 to Australia, I could see so many joggers on the street, uh, so many uh, old people in their 60 or 70s jogging and playing tennis and doing so many things. It was amazing. We didn't, we didn't see in 70. But India is changing as well. You could see a lot of emphasis put on uh, health clubs and other things are going on. This, this is a way bit of uh, what I do uh, with Diwali, which has uh, transformed. So when I can go to a foreign country and do that, we can change our lifestyle here. We can uh, start at the grassroots level and make India a fit much. Thank you, Bob. Uh, welcome, uh, Gopal Kishnagaru, former Special Chief yeah. Secretary for Government. And yes, uh, now, uh, the successful year is 1986, the golden year for Hyderabad Cricket Association. That year, Bob G was the captain for uh, Ranji Trophy team. We were all selectors. Mr. Primon was there. Primon, please stand up and wave you. And he's one of the successful <coughs> selectors, son of Cooper team. He was a former Ranji Trophy cricketer and uh, was a successful uh, selector also. That day, that uh, particular year, uh, not only Ranji Trophy, from under 15, under 19, under 25, <coughs> everything you won. That's a golden year of uh, Hyderabad Cricket Association. When funds were not there, BCC was not rich enough 25 years back. Yeah. 
telling at 18 lakhs for the uh, loans for the uh, HCA. Then we made it 25 lakhs profit on that and uh, two international matches. Then the players panel started under uh, Bobji's leadership. We all won 10 uh, uh, committee members, that is a golden year, sir. And uh, now uh, I request uh, some more people on that before the